I won't call 911. Yeah. He's threatening to kill himself and threatening to kill others and walking around down here on the boat ramp. What's up guys welcome back to another video. So today is the first kayak tournament of the brand new kayak tournament season at least for me and today is exciting because this is the first tournament to help me towards the goal that I've set for myself this year and that goal is to try to win angler of the year in the kayak tournament series that I fish. You know last year I broke my leg I ended up missing like four tournaments because of my broken leg but even though I did that I still ended up pretty well in the angler of the year standings and so my thought process was if I don't break my leg this year cross my fingers knock on wood and I do well in all the tournaments like I did last year that I might actually have a chance at winning angler of the year and so that's my goal for this year I mean obviously every tournament that you fish you want to try to win it but my overarching goal my big goal for this year is to try to win angler of the year and that is what I'm going to try to do but today we've got to get through this tournament and today's tournament is going to be a tough one because we are post cold front we are on a lake that has not been fishing well at all uh, the temperature has dropped like 20 degrees overnight current temperature is 31 outside um, water may be muddy may not I don't know but it's gonna be tough to say the least so we got to get out here we got to figure out what's going on we got to just go out here and go fishing and honestly that's my plan you know everybody was kind of talking about what they're doing what the game plan is da, 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 da. and I told myself Alex just go out there go fishing you know how to catch fish just go catch them and so that's what we're going to try to do today we're getting to the boat ramp right now we got about five more minutes before we're there we're going to get the kayak unloaded we're going to get this thing going and we are going to start out on our mission our fishing mission this year to win angler of the year in the kayak tournament so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this glad you guys tuned in as always taking time out of your busy day your busy week to come hang out with me and to watch this video means a lot but without further ado, let's uh, let's get into the kayak tournament and see. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the day, I got a big smile on my face and a blue trophy in my hand. And if not, hey, it's points towards Angler of the Year, and it's a goal that we can reach. So yeah, see you guys in a little while. Hey, there's a rod. I don't know. Dude, that's a brand new rod. Like, no joke. Hey, come on. Look, look at this. Sahara? It's a Sahara, isn't it? It's an arc with a dial on it. 100 bucks one of them guys lost it. That's what they say. Yeah. Hey, good luck, Charm. No kidding. It's for its side. Huh, check it out, guys. Well, we'll stick this in. It's either a good sign or a bad sign. Either a good sign or a good sign. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna find the owner of that thing. All right, boys and girls. First thing I'm gonna do is go talk to this guy right up here in his kayak and see if it's this guy's rod. And then we're gonna focus on catching fish. Water's like two foot down. It's chilly, but don't mean the fish aren't gonna bite. I've also already broke a rod this morning. Really don't know how I did that, but broke one. So that's the way the morning's starting, but doesn't mean we're not gonna catch him. Sitting up in there. We're making a move. It is what time is it? Like nine? Yeah, it's like nine, right? Yeah, so it's nine fifteen. We fished here for about two and a half hours and got one bite a piece. And so it's just not working. And we're also getting our butts handed to us by dudes who are up in the river fishing smallmouth. So we're gonna make a move, we're gonna go get some current, and we're gonna see if we can catch some big smallmouth with them. Now, I'm not doing a river float or anything like that because we're too down deep into the day already for that to happen. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna fish sections of the river that I know are good, places where you can you know, find some eddies and some holes and stuff like that. But 
yeah, I mean, I kind of figured this would be tough this morning, but I had for my own sake to come in here and like check it out and make sure because it's one of those deals that can suck or it can be really good. And today it's straight up sucking. So I'm gonna make a move, I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna tie on a spinner bait, tie on a jig and a crankbait and a net rig, which I've got all those things already tied on, but we're gonna make sure they're tied on. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna try to catch us some big ass brown fish because I think big ass brown fish is what's gonna win it today. There we go. Oh no. Oh. 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 Well guys, there's first bite at the new spot on the spinner bait. This current is absolutely cranking. Um, I said we weren't gonna do a float, but we decided to float down. Bethany, <laughs> God love her, agreed to come pick us up. So we're floating down from here uh, it's not a super long float, probably only like a two, three hour float, maybe two hours with the the current current cranking like it is. So we should be able to get everything loaded up and get back to check in, but really neat in a bite right now. I mean, just one will do, one will do at this point. So uh, we'll get it figured out. Uh, hey, he's a giant. <laughs> God, I'm out of here. Damn. Are you shitting me? Oh my God. Oh. Holy sh I just got hung right there and a freaking three pounder literally ate it off the limb as soon as I popped it loose. Wow. Man, that sucks. That was freaking crazy cool, but that sucks. Wow. Well guys, just got done fishing back through where I got that bite and lost that one. Um, that was crazy. You know, for you guys that didn't understand what I was saying in the moment there, because I was kind of having a moment. Essentially what happened was my crankbait got hung up on a limb. I went in there to pop it loose. And when I popped it loose, a three pounder, there we go. Oh, this is a mess right here. Stay pan, buddy. Okay, he's in. Woo! Anyway, what was I saying? I don't even know. We got a fish in the boat. There's one. Current fishing can suck. There we go. Let's do this. Let's grab this. We're gonna put that right back here. My kayak is completely up under where the frick this thing is. But I don't want to go anywhere because I caught that fish right there. Well, there you go, guys. There's number one, an absolute freaking chunk of a largemouth. Beautiful fish. Thank you for participating, man.
All right, I was saying something about fishing. Something about something, I don't know, probably making some excuses to why I wouldn't catch a fish or something, but, but yeah. A little largemouth sitting right here on this point, right where this current's pushing in here. You don't have to work hard for anything. He just kind of chills, sits up there. There's number one. I don't even know how long that fish was, 15 and a quarter, something like that. Just need two more. Just need two more. I am, we're running out of time though. We ain't got much time. I mean, we ain't too far from Holston River Park, but we ain't got much time. We're gonna have to start really moving and grooving here in just a minute. But yeah, dude, I fished, I fished back through that area where I got that smallmouth bite, didn't get another bite. And then came back to this point that I had just fished and, and pulled up here and made three casts in a row. And on the third cast, he just loaded up on it. Barely, I mean, dude, just barely ate it. Like he didn't throb it. It was just like, there he is. You know what I mean? And now I've caught uh, an eight inch, another eight inch large mouth. I caught an eight incher. <laughs> and then actually it was a seven and seven and a half. And then I caught a bluegill. No, on a, I picked up the Ned rig just to slow down right here a little bit and just pick this apart, make sure there's not another one sitting here. Like this one. Well, that was a bad one. Here's a better one. Yep, yep, that one's not a measure. I got no measure. I got no measure. Come here, buddy. Small mouth. They're loaded up right here, dude. Ain't many, ain't. All right, yeah, I'll hide you. Number two, let's get him on the board. Oh, small Joe. Come here, you can stop it. He ain't big, but he helps. I think anything helps on a day. Huh? I think anything helps on a day like today. Oh, he's long. He's long. Hi. 14 incher. 14 incher. Yep, same spot, dude. All right, hold on just one second. What's surprising is as long as I've sat here and cast it and cast it and cast it and cast it, that that little fish was still sitting there. I wanted the net rig out off this thing just a little bit, so. Yeah, there you go. I mean, those aren't winning fish, but it's bites. And if I can keep getting bites, that's all I need. Because any one of these could end up being a freaking 18 incher. Man, I tell you what, guys, today has been freaking tough. Um, it's not over, but we're definitely winding down. It is 147 now. So I told Bethany to meet me in an hour, and we're probably about an hour away from where we need to be to take out and start doing everything. Check in is not until 4:30, which is kind of crazy but whatever nothing you can do about it but we've still i mean i've got an hour i've got an hour to put one more fish into the boat honestly you never know what's going to happen i'll say and say that again you never know what's going to happen but you know obviously not got this one one but i want to get a third fish on the board just to help put me in a good position for good points for angler of the year which again what i said this morning is kind of my overarching goal is to win angler of the year but we're gonna keep fishing down through here it's been uh it's been funny i had that one eat try to eat this crankbait and came off and then thought that large mouth that little small mouth but just nothing super consistent now i'm going to be really interested when we go to check in this evening to kind of see what everybody else said you can see if the bites were consistent if there was one here one there because honestly i think even up in the river it was probably either one here one there or they found them stacked up somewhere which wouldn't be surprising either and i talked to josh this morning he's leading it mr bass and bear which good for him if anybody's gonna win it i want it to be him but i talked to him this morning and he said he found you know four or five stacks up in one spot so yeah we're just gonna stay after it we're gonna keep rolling on it and uh see if we can put us one more into the boat
How you doing, bud? No, I'm good, man. I'll ease her up in here. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I always got a gun on me. I ain't gonna shoot you. I ain't gonna shoot you. You don't give me any reason to, I ain't gonna do it. That's what I've heard. For this other parking lot. Well, let's do it. Come on. Yeah. I won't call 911. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to report a guy. I'm at Holston River Park. Um, he seems to be high and he's threatening to kill himself and threatening to kill others and walking around down here on the boat ramp making a bunch of crazy noises and stuff and uh waiting on my wife to show up so that we can uh, go get my car because i did a river float and uh i've already had to tell him to back away several times and he's saying he wants to kill himself and stuff uh gray shirt white male graying hair i can't tell how tall he is got blue jeans on uh no shoes he's uh walking around in the water with no shoes on as well so he's wet from pretty much like the waist down um that's about it oh uh, no he got out i can't tell now i've moved up away from him just to kind of separate myself from him i can hear him down there yelling though he's yelling and carrying on now I don't believe so. I didn't see any weapons on him. He had his hands in his shirt um, and just walking around, just saying a bunch of stuff. He's going, it seems, he seems to have a car here and he's, he's walked up to the car several times and got things out. But now he's just standing down here at the boat ramp. There's someone else getting out now and he's kind of approaching them. So. It's a white Cadillac, like a older, like uh, a XTX early 2000s model like not like a car but like the suv style thing that they have but not like an escalade the in-between yep gray hoodie and jeans and he's at holston river park it's alex yes sir yeah we're gonna be here for a few minutes 
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be here for a few minutes because we gotta drive back and forth and get cars and everything to load up the kayak, so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I will. Thank you very much. Bye. Send somebody? They said the officer's coming. Boys and girls, the last few minutes has been stressful to say the least. Um, ended up having to call the cops just now. Uh, we pulled up to the boat ramp where we were going to pull out and to meet Bethany so that we could get the kayaks loaded up. And there was a dude laying on the boat ramp high as a kite. And I don't know how much of it that I got on camera, if any of it at all. I know I got the call to the cops on camera, but the dude was threatening to kill himself, threatening to kill us, you know, just threatening to harm himself. And then he ended up getting in the water and just wasn't a good situation. You know, he was high on something, obviously. He was obviously putting himself in danger. Didn't want him to put me in danger or put me in a bad situation. So I ended up giving the cops a call and they have showed up. Um, I'm heading back that way actually right now to load the kayaks up. And Jacob said that the cops have showed up and that the guy jumped in the water and is now like running from them in the water, swimming away from them. And it's like floating down the river because the current is so strong. I mean, there's, you know, three, four miles an hour current. And so this dude's high and he's in the water and he is floating away. So I don't know, I'm gonna get back down here. I'm gonna load up my kayaks and just get out of the way because I don't need to interfere with anything that's going on. I'm just gonna let the cops do their job and let anybody else that shows up down here to do their job. But that was stressful, I, I have to say. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Drug addiction is something that amazes me because I don't personally get it, but it was just crazy to see that dude doing that kind of stuff and you know you guys know me I'm, I'm not one to be trifled with in those sorts of situations and so I wanted to do my very best to separate myself from that situation and so that is what I did but Bobby's here with me Bethany brought Bobby so me Bobby and Bethany are driving back down here to load up the kayaks and then we're gonna take Bethany back to her car and then we got to go to check-in and we're gonna see how we fared when the standings got cut off I was sitting in sixth place with only two fish, so that tells you what kind of day it was. But yeah, guys. Uh, okay, we'll see you. See you here in a bit. Emmy, you want to talk? I might just ask out of curiosity how he's doing. Ask who? Yeah, here comes something else. Well, we got the kayaks loaded up. I got Jacob loaded up. Bethany's in the truck with me. We're taking her back to her car. Um, but by the time we got back, the fire department had showed up. The rescue team with the boat had showed up. Divers had showed up. They had the helicopter out looking for the guy. Jacob said that he ran into the water when the cops showed up and went face down. And that when he went face down the cops were attempting to get him out and they couldn't get to him because the water got too deep and all that stuff so i don't know what happened to him i mean i can only assume you know maybe he's dead which just is freaking terrible um not definitely the way that i wanted to end the day with somebody dying but hopefully he's not i mean hopefully they got to him hopefully they can find him hopefully they can get him some help that he needs or whatever but uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on it. I don't know, I mean, we're obviously gonna have to wait and see what happens. I, you know, I wasn't gonna get in the cops way, I wasn't gonna get in the firefighters way and ask them any questions or do anything like that. I'm just gonna let them do their jobs. But yeah, that is uh, one hell of a way to end the day, to say the least. And 
you know, whenever you get your video that the cops are called, you don't want it to be this way, right? You know, everybody makes these videos, cops call, blah, blah, blah. Well, cops were actually called here, but this is not the way that you want the cops to be called. You know, you want it to end up being something not this bad, which it's ended up being something pretty bad. But yeah, so we are going to check in. We're going to see how this thing shook out. I have no idea how it shook out. Uh, I talked to one dude at the ramp that fished with us, said that the guy he fished with absolutely slammed them and uh, hadn't submitted any of his fish yet. So, whew, I don't you know. You want something, we'll though. I have won something. I won small fish. That's for absolute certain. If somebody <laughs> beat me on small fish, it's a miracle. Um, I have a five and a half incher. So, yeah, that's that. So, at least I won small fish and got good points for my overarching goal for the year, which is angler of the year. So, yeah, year and year all together makes me say weird English words that don't exist. It's like, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go to the VFW. I will see you guys when we get back to the house and hopefully by then I'll have an update for you guys of what the heck happened and shook out with that dude. Whew, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have made it back to the beer barn and I am glad because today has been one heck of a day on the water. Not only was the fishing really tough, but we had that really unfortunate situation at the end of the day with that guy. I had to end up calling the cops on him um i don't know the entirety of the situation i just know that he was obviously high on some kind of drugs he got really aggressive with me and jacob was telling us that he wanted to kill us that he wanted to kill himself you know asking if we had a gun so that he could kill himself um you know all those kinds of things just saying a bunch of really aggressive crazy stuff had to end up telling him to back away from us at one point and we kind of separated ourselves from the situation and obviously called 911 um, because you know in a situation like that it's not about trying to be a hard ass it's about separating yourself from the bad situation because the best way to get away from a bad situation is just to get away from it to walk away and so that's what we did and ended up calling the police they showed up the guy jumped in the water and you know ended up face down in the water and then here come everybody they had the fire department rescue squad they had the boat out they had a helicopter out looking for this guy and i don't know the results of what happened with all of that um as cold as the water was and the fact that he was floating face down you know that's never a good sign but then again i don't know what happened so hopefully the dude survived I'll try to give you an update later on if I find anything else out. Uh, one of the police officers asked me for a number, so I gave him my number just in case he needed to call me. And so, yeah, I mean, if I get a call from them and they, you know, tell me this, that, or whatever, you guys will find out. But just crazy situation to end the day there, um, to say the least. And hopefully none of you guys have had situations like that out on the water because that was just stressful is all that was. But... Wanted to talk about the fishing, you know, talk about where this thing ended up. I ended up ninth out of 29, which with two fish and as tough as today was, I will take it, especially on my journey to win Angler of the Year. Those are valuable points. That's a valuable place to be. You know, that's a good start to the year. So if I can do that all year, get a couple high places and maybe even win one, we're going to be in really good standings as far as Angler of the Year goes. So make sure to keep up with me on this. It's kind of a video series that I'm going to make as far as, you know, my journey to win angler of the year or my attempt to win angler of the year i don't know what i'm gonna call i don't even know what i'm gonna title this freaking video i mean because the cops were called and some dude threatened to kill me so i don't know what that's gonna look like but i want to take a minute to talk about what i caught my two fish on what seemed to be the most valuable baits of the day so the first fish that i caught I actually came on a jaywalker but the first fish that i caught that went on the board came on the berkeley fritz side in honey shad which this is a cool little color a little black back got some gold sides that white belly just really really cool little crankbait throwing that in the little bit shallower diving version this thing goes two to four feet just because i was fishing in some really shallow water i was fishing that on some 12 pound fluorocarbon this is sunline fc sniper on a seven foot medium moderate action vendetta by abu garcia so this is a 99 i think 89 99 dollar rod so really affordable rod and then i had that paired up with a revo sx and yeah that was kind of a funny situation because i hooked that one that you guys saw it came off and i fished down there and i fished through that pocket i think i fished that point like three or four times like you know cast to it three or four times and then went back up and was going back through with that smallmouth with that and then on like that fourth time that i threw up on there i threw right up on the point 
cranked that thing one time and that large mouth was sitting there and he eat, ended up eating that Berkeley Fritz side. So I guess he was just eat, sitting up there eating some shad, hanging out. And then the second fish that I caught came from the same exact spot, except for it came on the old Deadly Nedley with the little Berkeley Max Scent Trooper on there. This is a cool little bait. This is a cool little like realistic crawl imitator, which I love. I, I really believe crawdads are one of the most overlooked baits and like bait fish that you know us anglers overlook you know so many lakes have nothing but crawdads in them or crawdads and bluegills and so many bass focus primarily on crawdads especially this time of year those crawdads get more lethargic the bass get more lethargic and so those little small crawdad presentations are what they really start to focus on but i had that little trooper on a 3 16 ounce head this is a custom pour head from mr benjamin nowak 10 pound floor carbon leader to a 20 pound main line on a abu garcia zeta combo this is actually a seven foot medium fast action zeta combo with a 200 size zeta reel really cool little combo i'll have to link it down below for you guys i'm pretty sure it's a really affordable combo but just good little rod good little reel got work done but yeah i ended up catching a bunch on that ned rig it's just none of them were big enough to talk about just that one that ended up on the board but yeah i'm happy with the day today ended up being a good day on the water as far as fishing, placing where I wanted to place in this tournament to help myself kind of get that journey started with Angler of the Year. And the next one is going to be in December, and it is going to be a tough one to say the least. I think it is the second week of December, so pretty much a month away from now, we will have our second one of the year. And yeah, we're going to go to a little mountain lake here in East Tennessee and see what we can get done. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go. Leave them. Go down in the description. I have everything linked that I use so you guys can go check it out, including my rain gear, my kayak. All that will be linked down below so you guys can check it out. If you're new to the channel, just now watching this, you've made it this far into the video, thank you for watching this much of my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it. But as always, you guys are sweet, and thank you for watching.